I was literally with two of my ex-boyfriends. We got Subway? <laughs> yes! One of the food fighters is behind us. Because I humped a bruise. Bad bitches and your ugly ass friends. <laughs> Life is crazy. Are you crying out bad? <laughs> I literally have a meeting with Pipple's team at one. I'm on a self-respect class. <laughs> yeah. Are you sad or what? Why do I look sunburned? This doesn't look like me. This doesn't look like me. I'm just gonna show my eyes and just say we're at the Burbank airport having a drink. And that's it for now. It's an absolute zoo. It is a zoo here and it's been a nightmare, but I'm going to update you when I look slightly more socially presentable, but I just wanted to let you know we made our flight. Barely. When do we board? We have like about 30 seconds to drink this. You're joking. No. You're joking. Cheers. Yep, here we go. You just gonna like Yeah, that we're not cool The only thing I have to say to start this right now is that we're going to the Vegas male strip show I'm going back to Chippendales last time I was there I told Sarah I got on the stage and I am making my grand return tonight because we don't know what else to do tonight It's just such a mental picture. There's a whole vlog about it So a lot of people have the mental picture of it But like if we could all forget about it until it happens again tonight, that'd be great. You're getting Dude, I was literally oh, bent sick. over, spanked on stage, and now we're about to go do it again. It's like our first Vegas activity for the next fucking three, four days. You guys, check out my socks. Dude, I thought you were about to put them in your bra. I was like, you're not stuffing your bra. So check socks. out my socks. <laughs> like, I need to do that. <laughs> I know. Weekend plans be like, uh... I have lots to say about our journey here and everything, but I feel like I'm gonna save that for when I'm either hammered or hungover. So we're just gonna get on with the show. We're just gonna get on with the show, and we're literally gonna go to the show. So, chip and nails, here we go. Show and show and show and show. Show and go to the show, and then we're gonna be at the show, and then we're gonna do it at the show. And we're going to a show. Tonight we're going to a show, tomorrow we're going to a show. And then probably Sunday we're going to a show, but we don't know, but we'll show you. We're gonna go to <laughs> Thunder Down Under. No, we're not going to Thunder Down Under. For we're going brunch? to Chippendales. But we no, should. for brunch. They have Sunday. brunch? Thunder Down Under does brunch? <laughs> I was trying to make a joke. Oh my god, I got so Hopefully. excited. One of us is gonna get on stage. We're gonna go now. These two guys are being so mean to us. We were like, let's just go to Chippendales. Good show, you know? Yeah! Men. You know, some men, <laughs> not all men. Yeah, some uh, horrible men. Either. The majority of men! <laughs> <laughs> not you! No, no, it no, no, it could no. never be you. I'm Are nice you kidding? Guy. You're the best. You're the best. This guy bro. rocks. You're the best, bro. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> but the uh, majority of men do not, and that's why Thank we're going you. nowhere. They treat us terribly, <laughs> sir! Uh, <laughs> I, <laughs> so I seriously so just asked if that was Eminem. <laughs> We are not in Italy. We're here, best day ever. Yes, <laughs> found it. Are you ready to party? <laughs> say yeah, say, so. say it like you mean it. Yes! <laughs> Oh my god! Is this guy's getting it? Yes! Let's go! 
After that fiasco was done and over with, me and Sarah actually ended up going to this festival. You're about to hear all the details of that in a second, but I just didn't really vlog much from that. But very important things happened there, aka I partied with Rory and one of my other ex-boyfriends and then someone stole or Sarah probably just lost her fanny pack. And you're gonna see the only footage I got from that and then um, us waking up the next morning. It is so dead. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Bible, I will never dance again. I am never gonna dance again <laughs> the way that I dance with you. The way I dance with you. Oh, that's hurt. Dude, he was ahead of his time. <laughs> he gets us. He We're, wrote this for us. Dude, talk about the Michael Jackson Cirque du Soleil. Where's the George <laughs> Michael <laughs> Cirque du Soleil? <laughs> it's just for him. <laughs> We gotta give this guy the credit he deserves. Oh my Here we God. go. Dude, let's see him live. Is Sarah, he alive? Sarah, he's dead! Oh no! <laughs> he's dead. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh fuck, man. That's so Damn, sad. he died on Christmas. <gasps> Wait, I knew that. Last Christmas? That was his that's his song. Last Christmas I gave oh, you my heart. That's his? Yeah! And he died on Christmas. Oh my god, really? <laughs> this, song, actually, yeah. this is gonna, this is gonna do it all for me. Oh God! This love has taken its toll on me. Turn around and leave again. That's what they all do. But uh, I'm gonna cry. And we'll be shut up. I gotta switch up the vibe. Keep playing Firefly. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Why do I feel like I'm at like jail and I'm getting like interrogated? Like with those <laughs> stupid lights like above my head. What did you do with the body? I'm like, I don't know. Ah, oh, you flowers. An elder hand. I am just dying to know where my contacts went. I'm dying to know where my fanny <laughs> Oh my- Like, my fanny pack is just somewhere. <laughs> it is like somewhere in the world. Did you have like AirPods or anything useful in it? My lip gloss. <laughs> okay, well that doesn't have a tracker. And my ID. The only thing that I have now is my passport. And I can't lose that. <laughs> but I need to bring it. One of us was bound to lose something. I lost self-respect <laughs> Yeah. Night. Guys. <laughs> hey. Oh, why would- Now I? my baby's dancing! The budgie is dancing with another man. With another man. With another man. What if I just went out like this? <laughs> <laughs> In the jersey too. And I went out like this. Dude, the fact that people are on the roller coaster right now is unbelievable. I wanted to tell you about my night last night because obviously I didn't really get to talk to you guys much yesterday. We decided not to drive this time around to come to Vegas because fuck driving. The drive is just so agitating sometimes. So we chose to fly Frontier. Actually, we didn't really have a fucking choice if we wanted to fly. The only flight option from Burbank yesterday was Frontier. Barely made our flight, by the way, because Frontier, I don't even know how this is fucking allowed to happen, but they moved the flight time. It was originally supposed to be at like 2.30. We got a text the night before saying, oh, we're moving it to like five-ish. And then at like one o'clock, they texted us and said, oh, just kidding, we're moving it back to like 2.50. But the flight was packed, everyone made it. So like shout out to everyone who made that fucking flight. We are all incredible. And clearly we were all dying to go to Vegas. The first thing that happened when we got here is someone immediately got arrested after the plane landed. I guess someone was vaping the entire flight. So we literally walked off the flight. There was like eight cops just standing there. And I was like, just Vegas things. When we got here, we were like, what the hell do we do? Because we got here and it was like five and that was such an awkward time between like, we were originally supposed to go to Tiesto last night and that like wasn't gonna happen till like 11. So last minute was like, dude, let's fucking go to the Chippendales because that show is unbelievable. We had the best time, as you could tell. I did not even get to my seat at the show before I went on stage. Like I literally walked into the venue and I immediately got pulled on stage and it was unbelievable. God, I love the Chippendales. Then after that, some guy from Raya texted me. There's so many influencers out here this weekend for this Area 51 music festival. And I didn't even know that was a thing until a few days ago. And some guy texted me and 
asked if me and Sarah wanted to go. So I went. I saw Rory and then it was so funny because before I even remember that Rory was there, he texted me and was like, dude, I just met your other ex-boyfriend. And it was so funny. Like my other ex-boyfriend whose name I just simply have to leave out of this went up to Rory and was like, oh my God, like you're Rory. And Rory was like, oh my God, you're blank. And so then I met up with both of them and I was literally with two of my ex-boyfriends, my other ex-boyfriend's new girlfriend all night long, just drinking. So ridiculous. Like, am I serious? I came to Vegas my first night here. I black out with both my ex-boyfriends. Like, am I fucking serious? Like, really? Was that necessary? Yes. It so was. Sarah lost her fanny pack last night. We have no idea where it went. Literally no clue. But thank God she has her passport, so nothing will stop us this weekend. But yeah, it's five o'clock now. My ex-boyfriend's girlfriend just texted me and asked what I'm doing. Probably gonna go have a drink with her soon. But yeah, I need to get ready. And there's so many things going on tonight, too, that we don't even know what we're gonna do yet. Not really trying to go to that festival again with my ex-boyfriends. That was like a one and done scenario. Yeah, it was. So now I'm gonna get ready, figure out if I can wear my hair down again, because I actually felt pretty iconic yesterday with it down. I'm gonna do my makeup now, listen to some Bruno Mars, and then I'll show you my outfit when I'm ready to go. Ha! Oh my god, okay, we literally have to leave right this fucking second because um, they go on stage in 25 minutes. So, here we go. Bye! Please give it up for Sarah. Look at her fucking outfit. You look unbelievable. Thank you. You look so bad! Sarah just goes, I feel like I'm about to play in the Super Bowl. <laughs> I feel like I'm about to like get on the field and put my... I feel like I'm like really late to like room. practice. I'm in the locker room <laughs> for the Super Bowl. Yeah, okay, yeah. And I'm nervous. Because you might win the Super Bowl and you might not. We because don't know we yet. We don't know because we're late to the show. Yeah, we're so. We're late to the Super Bowl. We're late. <laughs> we are playing in the Super Bowl and we are late. We're late because we were just trying to. We were just. Our best. Yeah, for we're also Anderson. Going to the after parties, yeah. So it's like we have to. I had to put in the extra effort to. Oh, turns out we are here. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Let's Gotta go. go. <laughs> Sorry. I'm jogging. I am jogging. We are a nightmare. <laughs> oh my God, it's here. Oh my God, we found it. Oh my God. I am running in nine inch heels. <laughs> this is so funny. I know where I am. Obviously, we had the best time at the Silk Sonic show. Like, duh. Loved every second of it, but we had our phones taken away, so couldn't really record anything. But then here's the only footage I got of the after party and then the aftermath of the after party. <laughs> be a thing right now. I have never needed to see a food court more badly in my life. <laughs> Once I get my hands on a food court, I'm going to be, oh my God, daylight? No. Stop gaslighting me. <laughs> I like want to shed my skin like a snake. <laughs> Me too. Oh my god, I see breakfast and lunch. That is the best thing I've ever seen. It's giving TGI Friday. <laughs> I, I cannot listen to this song right now. <laughs> I'll play back. You play. Are you shot or what? Dude, we might as well have a mimosa. We have to get ready for the blue man group soon. You got this, dude. You can do this. You can conquer the buffet. You can do this. This magic moment. Where am I? <laughs> the weirdest taste of food. I'm gonna lose it. Ugh, there's something so off about it. <laughs> These mashed potatoes are the best. <laughs> I'm gonna do a review of my plate. What is this combination of food? <laughs> Dude, it's called the seafood diet. I see food and I eat it. <laughs> Fried rice, is that cornbread, potatoes, <laughs> different kinds of potatoes going on. I didn't even realize. Like, I have to find a baked potato. Right <laughs> We have to get for the blue, for front, we are front man at the blue, front, front man? man. <laughs> we are the front man. I have to put makeup on to go to the blue man group and then Michael Jackson Cirque du Soleil that I just hammeredly bought tickets at the reservation <laughs> desk. I really need some water. I might go back down and buy some. Actually, I'm not gonna say I might, I'm going to. <laughs> I will carry the fucking team on my back to you get some liquid. To? Yes, <laughs> I would love to. I can't wait to see the blue man group. Dude, I can't. Wait, do we know where my passport is? Um, oh, I have it. Oh my god, thank oh god. god. Oh, 
Oh my god. The last thing we need to deal with right now. I lost that. Dude, you losing your bag in that festival feels like it was nine weeks ago. That was literally the other, like two nights ago. I feel like I have been here for an extreme amount of time. I gotta go get water. Wait, we got... <laughs> We got Subway? Oh, when did we get Subway? <laughs> I remember kind of being in the line. Wait, I remember getting a flatbread. <laughs> Wait, dude, there's Subway trash dude, all what? over the room. What did I get? This has happened to me one too many times. <gasps> what? How did I? Oh my God, there's Subway all over the fucking room. There's a flatbread. <laughs> dude, I told you, I got a flatbread. It is all the bread that they had left. They literally said, you have to have a flatbread. I said, yeah, I do. <laughs> what did I get? I don't know. We gotta check the bathtub. <laughs> oh god. I looked my last into the bathtub and there's a homeless man. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, not a homeless man. There's onions. <laughs> there's onions everywhere. Yeah, those are onions. Yeah. Oh god. There's onions. <laughs> Dude, what would we have literally done if there was Ew. That just triggered something. <laughs> Dude, my fight or flight, like I'm about to like punch something. How did we not remember that? When was that? <laughs> where, where is the subway? Where's Subway? And how did we confidently order a sandwich? <laughs> what? Oh my god, that's so funny. Oh my god. What the fuck is going on? I just had one drink again and it sent me, sent me down a spiral already. Where did I, where did I just go? Oh, <laughs> um, here is the Blue Man Group. I love this place. <laughs> we should stay here. Dude, there's a Titanic exhibition. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Where do I go? Oh. Oh my god, please, 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 please. Nope, okay. This place People is- People need to know. <laughs> People Vegas. should go to Vegas. <laughs> People should go to Vegas more often. Like, check that out. Wow. <laughs> the fact that Bruno and Anderson love Vegas so much, they decided to They're do like, a residency. They we're don't gonna, want to tour around. <laughs> we're just gonna stay in Vegas. Usher. Oh, I cannot wait for Usher. Not Michael Jackson starting in three minutes. We haven't even talked about the Blue Man group. <laughs> <laughs> I was in the bathroom for five minutes. Not. I'm writing a fucking book, bro. I'm writing a book. I'm gonna write a movie. I might start writing a script during the Michael Jackson show. <laughs> <laughs> you look over. I'm on like WordPress. I am Aussie. writing Aussie. Aussie? Oscar. Worthy. I am writing an Aussie. Oscar. I'm writing an Aussie. Oh, oh I found a woman strip show. Thanks. Uh, thank you so yeah. much. Um, I found the women's strip show, but we gotta go to Thunder Down Under. I've been trying to tell you this for three days. I had an alarm on my phone go off yesterday to remind you about this, and I still forgot to tell you. You know that thing, that pit, that pitbull contest that everyone's posting about? Yeah. I have a meeting with the producers on Tuesday. <laughs> I passed the first round of interviews. Shut up. I Wait, might be on a CBS show with Pitbull, dude. <laughs> Wait, what is it? It's like you're just competing in games with him. And I you are have, I have a meeting at Tuesday at <laughs> 1 o'clock. <laughs> so you're gonna I have been trying to tell you this for like days and I just kept forgetting. Oh my god. Like our bank account <laughs> is drained. <laughs> we yes, spent all call. of our money. Did, call? did I call? Who did I call? My you. bank? Oh, my sure. bank. No, dude, I'm said. gonna... You don't, you don't get it, dude. I don't get it. Uh, no, you say in a minute? I don't remember. <laughs> oh wow, it was literally across the street. Um, alcohol. Was no. it seriously across the street? No, we're just stupid. <laughs> we just love Michael Jackson. That's it. I'm just high on life, brother. He said, are you guys high? I wish. I didn't get the joke. I forgot what I said 20 seconds earlier. Okay, you said, Shit. oh my god. I go, you called? Get it now. Oh. Are you? Huh. You don't get it, I don't get it. No. I have oh no idea God, what's going you on. Oh my God, you called? What? You called me? Are you oh, God? Oh, you're God? No. Oh, wow. Then Was I really Was that the joke? Know. You're God? Name Michael. Look up the meeting and you'll get it. Okay. Michael Jackson. No, Michael. Here, just okay. look up Michael. Just look up Michael? The word just... Michael meeting. I have to look up Michael. <laughs> he said go on Google and type in Michael. Meeting Michael. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> what the fuck? 
What's that? Who knows? What? He wouldn't even tell us what he was talking about. And he asked me if I was hot because I didn't get it. What do you mean? That was the I am so joke I've ever heard. Oh my God. He should stop you making know? jokes. <laughs> Driver gaslighting us. I'm looking forward to this. I'm looking forward to this. Oh, we're going to Michael Jackson. Yeah. Well, yeah, he did. They do like Cirque du Soleil. Yes, he can't do that. Dude, they're gonna do that all night. That was incredible. Thank you for that. Yeah, I'm going now. I'm late. Your friend Dave? Who? Oh. I would love to. Did you just ask if we wanted to be one of the Foo Fighters? <laughs> Wait, yeah, you did. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? Is he with one of the Foo Fighters right now? I can't name one song. I'm sorry. <laughs> name one song. Wait, that guy might be from the Foo Fighters. <laughs> I think Fighters. one of the Foo Fighters is behind us. I can't name one song. Well, me either, but like, Can everybody was kung song? fu fighting. <laughs> Dude, we were just here. We were just here at the other place. We Ubered across the street for no reason. <laughs> we, we were just on these escalators. Oh, wait. Oh. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. Wait, What's happening? <laughs> Him, come back here. I'm with one of the Foo Fighters. We run away because we don't know any of this. Song. I'm like, if you were in any other band, <laughs> I would know it. <laughs> Literally any other band. Okay, we're going to go to Michael Jackson. Now we're at Michael Jackson. <laughs> We were just the Blue Man group. <laughs> <Are we> okay. <laughs> what is going on? The show has literally started already and we're just standing here taking pictures of this. <laughs> like, are you kidding me? Like, we could be watching the show. <laughs> and we're just looking at this. <laughs> oh my god. Holy shit. Wow. Oh my god. pay for this technically. <laughs> Put it on my tab. I don't have a card. I lost she my She lost her purse. Oh, this would be $8,000. That was literally like <laughs> Dude, it's probably like three grand by now. Can you spell Are we kidding? <laughs> Dude, that's so funny. <laughs> okay, after Thunder Down Under, me and Sarah ended up meeting up with one of our friends for the rest of the night and we literally were just sitting at one of the bars at MGM until five or six morning until Sarah almost got banned for life from the MGM because she danced with a broom. No, I'm literally not kidding. Please just look at this footage. <laughs> Dude, when I'm on your side, that's when you know to. You were confused. I was like, whoa, wait, no, she's done worse. Because I humped a broom. There was a broom in the middle of the floor, and I went up to it, and I grabbed the broom on the floor, and I fucked it. And he got me out of that situation. Are you absolutely kidding? I need to go see the Michael Jackson show again. <laughs> me too. Listen, I'm not going home. You're just like plain and simple, dude. I'm 
not going home. I'm sorry. I don't think I've ever experienced a time where I was in Vegas and I was dreading leaving. Like, this is the most unreal day on earth I've ever experienced. I'm sorry. Is there a way you can call the front desk and be like, we're not going home? <laughs> They're like, okay, so you pay? We're like, no, we're also not doing that. I have to pack it like the speed of light. You're going home. I have to. I have the Pitbull interview tomorrow. Oh my god. I don't even, why am I gonna go home? I don't know. What time is the flight tomorrow? Oh my god, I literally have Dua Lipa tomorrow. <laughs> One twelve. Oh, I can't. My interview's literally at one. I literally have a meeting with Pipples team at one. <laughs> I'm gonna piss myself. Try to fuck a broomstick. Are we kidding? <laughs> You've done a lot worse things too, and that was the final straw. <laughs> that was MGM's final fucking straw, dude. They thought you stole it out of the workers' <laughs> They're so bored. There was nothing know. else going on at MGM on a Monday morning. You were the most problematic thing there. Like, are you fucking kidding me? They thought that I stole the broomstick. Like, it was laying on the floor. We literally had to call in for backup, dude. We had to call the manager. Because we had to convince him that you were not a problem. <laughs> I went out of my way to take someone's broomstick from their hands. <laughs> I don't care that much. No, you do, I guess, according to the general public. <laughs> oh my god, they were gaslighting us. The MGM Grand is full of gaslighters. I'm not going out. I'm going to fucking freak out. I'm going to fucking freak. <laughs> I'm, not going I'm, out. I'm going. Where? Who has this much fun in Vegas that they refuse to leave? <laughs> Where? I'm not going out. Else ever. Oh, no. <laughs> Dude, I literally do not want to. If I did not have that meeting. Wait, do you have to be in person? No, but like it's so professional. I have to be standing up. I have to wear a <laughs> collared shirt. <laughs> group so fast <laughs> like I like completely forgot that we went to the blue man group and then we went to Michael Jackson bawling my eyes out the entire time and we were screaming about how grateful we are to be alive <laughs> like, like we literally that cured my depression dude that was the most life-changing thing I've ever experienced the literally I walked into the Michael Jackson show as one person and I literally <laughs> walked out as the most unrecognizable person remember we left the show we're like we want to be better we need to be better. Dude, like those videos of us as a kid, just singing. We need to be a better person. I have to be a better fucking person for him. I'm so grateful to be alive. Like I keep saying I want to kill myself, but it's because I love being alive. <laughs> Next, I want to kill myself. But because I don't love mean. I just love life so much. Like life is crazy. The second I am away from you, I'm going to have a meltdown. A meltdown, dude. We have to take pole dancing classes this week. I need something to do. Find me up. I'm there. I'll put it on your tab. Put it on my fucking tab, dude. Where is my fanny pack? This place is the best thing that has ever happened. Has anyone heard of Vegas? We moved on from us almost meeting a Foo Fighter. Oh, yeah. What was that? He came up to us and touched our backs. It said, ladies, would you like to meet a Foo Fighter? We just keep walking. <laughs> We're the only people on the planet that are like, no. no. He's right behind you. I'm like, that's okay. Don't care. I see Michael Jackson. <laughs> We're about to see my We're late for Michael Jackson. He's like, I think you're a little later than you realize. What do you mean you're going to see Michael Jackson? He's like kind of dead. <laughs> He's like, no wonder you don't want to meet a Foo Fighter. You think you're about to see Michael Jackson. <laughs> These bitches are literally high. I'm the Uber driver asked. Gaslighting me. me. <laughs> <laughs> we were just gaslit all weekend. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? I don't know. I literally have to walk out of here in like two minutes. Okay. I want to curl up and tie your ski pants. <laughs> My ski pants. I look like I'm like boogie with a hoodie. <laughs> like, that's, how I, that's how I feel right now. 
out. I'm like literally gonna miss my flight if I don't leave right now, but I do, my feet are planted into the ground. <laughs> Dude, I am one with room 318, floor four. You cannot take me out of here. You can't, you can't. I am a tree. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm not going home. I don't know how I'm gonna stay, but I'm staying. <laughs> with my card? <laughs> I have your card in my hand. I don't have anything to my name. I'm just gonna keep getting texts of like random charges <laughs> on my card all night because you're still in Vegas. I have to my <laughs> I check my email. It's just one ticket. <laughs> one ticket, please. <laughs> Go to Thunder Down Under. Again. By myself. Oh my god, I have to go. Just I stay. I literally cannot. I might miss my flight anyways. I gotta walk out right now. I gotta go. I gotta go. Oh my god, I gotta go. I literally might miss my flight because I won't shut up. I have to go. I have to go. <laughs> I'm, I'm literally, I, I just missed my flight. Dude, my bag tag is on my bag. I tagged my bag and then I left. There's literally a Spirit Airlines bag tag on my bag. And I just, I, I could not do it, dude. I was not confident with my decision. I'm still packing. I just went to the airport, tagged my bag and came back. Absolutely. <laughs> what are you talking about? Why I, are you here? I like fully accepted that I was gonna be a lone wolf today, <laughs> figuring my shit out. No, I'm back. But you're back. You're like in my presence. <laughs> like I came right back. That is the funniest thing I've ever heard. Like now what? <laughs> that escalator felt like it was fine. An elevator to Outback? <laughs> this is the, this is the, the last most thing. <laughs> Holy shit. Outback. This is the most unbelievable experience. <laughs> I am above everyone else because I'm going to, like, I'm literally above everyone else because I'm going to Outback. You walked into the building and you said, Where's Outback? Outback? You're crying at Outback. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying right now. Why are you crying? Why are the Jonas Brothers playing? I'm a sucker. So after Outback, um, me and Sarah went back to our room and that was pretty much it. We ended up staying in Vegas that night. We booked another hotel room and then we left in the morning, I think. I actually ended up canceling my Pitbull interview because I decided I actually don't want to be on a CBS show with him because I have anxiety in settings like that and it reminds me of high school and the actual last thing that I think I want to do is compete against other people in a contest where we're competing for things. With them. Like, I don't know. Don't hate me. I know you're disappointed, but whatever. I had to do me. I also had no brain cells left the next day and literally the second that we landed from Vegas, I got up and I went to do a Lipa. I looked fucking incredible though. I really pulled it together in that aspect, but other than that, I was tired from this trip for like a month. Yeah, me and Sarah Quinn literally did go to Vegas together and then end up as faces of Bruno Mars's rum company. I don't know. That's all I have to tell you right now. I, I have no fucking idea. I don't know. If you want to see us go to Vegas for another vlog soon and vlog more and not have it three and a half months late, let me know because Usher's residency is about to start and I want to go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I love y'all. And I really, 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 really appreciate now more than ever. Just y'all being patient and actually still watching this video, even though it took me an ungodly amount of time to put out. I literally did not know if I could, but I did. So hope you had fun. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Mwah.